So here's this laptop, it's Dell and the model is Vostro okay, and it's more exactly Vostro 3419 it has a 19.5 volt adapter, 2 or 3 amps it has Windows 10 on it okay so let's analyze it that's the top part, nothing fancy here, this is plastic it is a little bit flexible and that's the bottom side, we have the two speakers there those are the speakers. Here we have the heat sink, the heat output for the processor. That's an air input maybe. It has four rubber legs and there's nothing, no connector on the back side. Just that heat output and this is the front, nothing there either, just the speakers. And on the left side, which looks like this, we have the power connector. We have an HDMI output, we have a local area network, you can move that thing down, we have two USB ports and the headphone and microphone output. So that is on the left side and on the right side we have a card reader for SD cards, we have another USB, we have a VGA output, that's an analog output and we have that lock cancel or whatever so let's open it it does not have any connection here between the lower and upper parts we have a sticker here it says Vostro 3000 it's a 14 inch display and the resolution is full HD that is 1920 by 1080 it has an HDMI output Dell Mobile Connect spill resistant keyboard so the gap is not too wide there and probably there's some protection okay wireless and bluetooth hd cam the camera is up here on the display tiny little camera it has an led when the camera is on that led lights on probably that's the microphone okay and it's done like that so that's not <laughs> so here's the touchpad left click and right click that's on that side it has an i7 processor from intel and is the 10th generation it's a 14 nanometer processor that's the keyboard there is no numeric keypad on this model and the power button is here and these are reversed so when you are pressing let's say that one it's not going to be f2 but it's going to be volume down and that's not F1 but mute by the way let's take a look here so there is no opening for the hard drive you cannot remove it like this you have to remove all the screws and there is no opening for the battery either so you have to remove the entire back side for that press that button a caps lock LED lights up if you want to enter BIOS you have to press F12 on the keyboard F12 Okay, but Windows 10 already started. Restart Windows 10. Restart anyway. And press F12. So Windows is shutting down. It's restarting. I'm pressing F12. And in the corner should mention preparing one time boot. So that's the entire interface. We have the BIOS setup. We have diagnostics. We have the BIOS update, support assist operating system recovery. The hard drive has multiple partitions on it, four, five, or maybe six. And device configuration, BIOS reversion, service tag, whatever. We have an exit button, one time boot menu. If you go on any of those, Windows 10 will start. It's a Vostro 3419. So let's see the BIOS for example. We have mouse support, overview, BIOS option, system configuration and so on. 2019, the battery is at 99%. It's not a touch screen. It has an i7 processor, 10510U, 1.8 GHz, it has 4 cores. The cache memory is 8 MB. Hyper threading, it has virtualization of course and it's 64 bit. So let's go down. 
it has 8 gigabytes of memory and one slot is empty another one is occupied it is ddr4 single channel mode only one ram slot is inserted 14 inch display 1920 by 1080 resolution video memory is only 32 megabytes as the audio from here you can load the defaults for this page i think boot options let's go there boot mode ufi only Windows Boot Manager, UFI Hard Drive, Add Boot Option, Remove Boot Option. So that's the Boot tab. System Configuration, let's go there also. And here we have the time and date. Network Controller Configuration, UFI Network Stack, Storage Interface, Serial ATA. It says it's RAID on. I think it has one hard drive, but it's still RAID. Enable Smart Reporting. Let's enable that one. Apply changes. I just want to apply the changes. Let's apply it. Okay. And if we go down, smart is enabled. Enable the onboard audio, USB configuration. I can enable or disable that camera also. So let's go to the next one, which is video. LCD brightness for battery power and AC power, security, lock out, bypass password, non-admin password, UFI capsule, firmware update, interesting stuff, absolute, TMP, bypass, key storage, SMM, okay so that's a security page, passwords, admin password, enable strong password, system password, Secure boot, enable secure boot, requires some verification, so everything has to be validated. Expert key management, PK performance, multi-core, all cores, so we can reduce the number of cores of the processor. A speed step, C state, turbo technology, hyper threading, if you want to use virtual cores also. Power management, wake on AC, enable USB wake support, auto on time, block sleep, battery charge configuration, advanced battery charge configuration, peak shift, many features, wake on LAN, local area network, Intel speed shift technology. Okay, let's go to the next one, wireless, you can enable or disable the wireless local area network adapter, post behavior num lock enable function lock you can change it from here if you want to use f2 instead of let's say volume down then you can disable it from here from post behavior warning errors fast boot performs complete hardware and configuration initialization during boot checks more things extend bios post time full screen logo sign of life virtualization so the processor supports the virtualization feature you can enable it or disable it from here maintenance bios recovery from hard drive bios auto recovery start data wipe bios downgrade you can even use an older version of bios system logs thermal event log bios event log support assist dell auto operating system recovery threshold support assist operating system recovery bios connect so let's exit from here here we have an exit button and it restarts so press f12 once again until you see something on the screen i'm pressing f12 okay now that was the bios setup diagnostics let's go quickly there it's scanning the entire system is testing the display and so on were color bars displayed yes okay this will require some time so we should cancel it mouse is not active during testing was able to identify possible issue with your system unable to detect charger of course it's not continue testing no not the mouse is working close it from that x exit yes exit it already f12 once again okay bios update let's check that one also I guess you have to insert a USB flash drive and find BIOS on that one. So cancel update. Once again back F12. Support assist OS recovery. Tap on that one. We have a Dell logo. The fan just started. 
Support Assist Operating System Recovery Dell All Rights Reserved Loading Of course this is pretty much covered here It's covered by the screen also So the heat cannot really escape It's escaping here to the front a little bit So that's here Scan Hardware Repair System Backup Files Restore System It even has wireless connection there Let's see, can we go there with the mouse? Yes, it's seeing the network connections. So you have network access here. Now that's interesting. Escape is not helping. How do I get out from here? That house, okay. Now let's go here to... You don't have an exit, you always have to restart this thing. Restart it already. Now once again F12 to get back to that menu. So that was this one. You can recover your windows I think from there. It will overwrite your entire current windows installation from a portion of the hard drive which you cannot see normally. Okay, device configuration. That is this one. Opal. Escape goes back, device configuration again, driver health manager, gigabit, that's the local area network, you don't have mouse here, RAM disk configuration, create row, raw from file, remove, better don't do anything here, escape, it's not a touch screen unfortunately, device configuration, Intel rapid storage technology, it has a Samsung SSD, 256 gigabytes. It's an NVMe drive. Escape, device configuration. And let's check the last one, Realtek. That's the internet connection. Okay, and that's about it. Let's go there to the exit button. And it should start Windows. It has just one LED here. I have not seen any light on this button. Okay, so that's this laptop with this 10th generation Intel processor. Thanks for watching and bye bye. It should hibernate. Windows is set up to hibernate. That's the charger, it's cable, 220 volts. That's the adapter itself. It looks like this. And here's the cable, which looks like this. And you have to insert it there. Seven hours, thirty five minutes.